Welcome to Firewatch. It's actually pretty fun. I've already finished it. <coughs> but, I'm gonna do a second game playthrough. Basically, he plays this guy, his name's Henry. I'll just let him get into it. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a... Go ahead. Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. Ouch! Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply... afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 645. <laughs> huh. I could see your tower from over here. Yeah, hello. Now, why don't you use those same skills to identify your firefinder? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be...
be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Convenient. That's one word for it. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. lose their shit doing this job? There's a note that says a guy just left his post. It happens, yeah. You're not gonna pop your top, are you, Henry? I wasn't planning on it. Hey, there's a snack in here. I'm probably gonna eat it. You definitely do not want to do that. <laughs> Whatever's in there has been in there for years. That's how you get food poisoning. Nom, 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 nom. What is that noise? Never heard the woods make this sort of noise before. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500 pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. Jesus. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I um, don't remember it being that bad. It's not even there, named there, on our topos. There, there. It should be called Cripple Gulch, just east of gonna pee in a bag forever flats. Oh, is that Absorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? Uh, it's actually English for not in my job description. How do you expect me to get down this? Well, did you get that rope? Yeah, I got it. Okay, just lash it to something nearby and take it slow. Even though I could just totally, totally just climb down these rocks here. All these rocks here. Oh, it's just... Uh. using all ropes that were found in the woods.
wrong with you? <sighs> Cripple Gulch got me. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. Did you have to pee in a bag for the rest of your life? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Yeah, I just fell all the way through. And, oh, it's just so fucking pretty. This is just nice. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. It just goes off that way. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, we'll go this way, cause pretty sure the fireworks were coming from around. Ah, uh, fuck. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What? You don't like a cold musk one night on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, just I didn't say my manners for him because good. that's what Better my job is. Fucking litter bugs, though. That's for sure. <laughs> uh. So like crappy music. Yeah, I get that music. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Woo. Heh. <laughs> Seriously. Oh look, they decided to have a campfire too. Magic feet. Coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate, but I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. I don't want to fuck with them. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Uh. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Uh, I might join them. Oh, wait. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. <laughs> Why, because you're 12? Fuck you, woman. Oh, yeah, pick them up. Mm-hmm. Oh, this music. Oh. Oh, what? Oh my god. Yes. There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? I don't know. Oh, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, <laughs> you know. Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. I took the fuck okay. I just took the fireworks. Is this creepy enough? Is is this creepy? Oh yeah. <laughs> Stereo Iraq. Oh, fuck you, psycho. Yeah, fuck you. 
Ooh, fuck fuck you. you! You can't just harass girls in the woods! I can because I'm a man and the no, wait. I'm not a man in the woods and that was totally wrong. Anyway. Hey, that go okay? I might have got a little hot. What's a little hot? Some of their personal property took a swim. Ugh. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Nope. Thanks for dealing with him, though. Seriously. No problem. Oh, uh, dealt with him. Fuck yeah. So. I guess we go through here. Huh. Oh, well. The sound of nature. It's just so nice. Breezy in here. Damn. That's a nice little thing. Natural formations so and whatnot. I Ooh. have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know. I just I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Well, dude, drunken lady. Hey, uh, I can see my tower. How do I get back? If it's the one I think it is, there should be an old trail the Forest Service closed off a couple years back. And I'm sure their reasons for closing it off had nothing to do with safety, right? Oh, it washed out and became a fucking death trap. So, you know, be careful. Fuck yeah. Just what I need. Lovely. heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? How lovely. Oh, it's another one of these. Copy that map information. Ah, ow. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers, and secondly, Stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Delilah? What's in this cave down here? 
In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Fucking really? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it! Hello! I bless the rains down in Africa! Ooh. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... <laughs> maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Oh, sorry, Hank. <laughs> There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not when it's dark and they just stand there and don't say anything and just shine a torch in your face and then they just do like there's so many bad things that could happen with people. I guess he was here which shouldn't be too far behind him if he's You motherfucker! <laughs> Goddamn, if that thunder could shut up, that'd be pleasant. anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Ah! I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my thirties keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. <sighs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> what kind of name is Forrest Burns, anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had been named Royal since the 1850s. Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo Butts? Oh man, that's even worse. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I 
I want as well. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. Oh, God. I could never. Exactly. Never do that. Oh, home sweet home. Just as the fucking... Ooh, ooh see the blocks. Typewriters on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind. No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. It's a typewriter. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five-0. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Well, it could have been the girls, but they were to the other side, and I doubt they'd do this, but maybe a guy like that. Fuck. Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own, and question him if they find him. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Papa. -ba. And here we go. Wake up. Close. Hey, wake up. Oh. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. That would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, alright. Uh, 
hey, I can see your tower. I suppose that means you can see me. Yeah, well enough. You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up. The Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. I'll get used to it. Been a bit of a night owl for a long time now. Oh, it's fine. I mean, fires don't really start until 11 a.m. or so. Seriously? No. Good lord. I <laughs> thought maybe it was one of those things like how earthquakes only happen at sunrise and sunset. Oh, uh, that's not true either, Henry. Jeez, we're really letting anyone in these days. Oh, fuck, Delilah. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wires is in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. Mm. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. Okay.